Well, hello again everybody, welcome back and today we have another Andy H creation called GG Wiz the locks are marked but this is a GG key or the code on it is for a GG and all works very nicely uh, we do have actually have a 6 pin lock and a 5 pin, core, uh, five pin key and I can only feel 5 pins in there so with a bit of luck it will only be five pins when I open it but it all works nicely, all locked up I think Andy's been up to his usual tricks and been down to the local scrapyard uh, nicking the springs off the back of transit vans and sticking them in his locks because one of these number five has got an extremely powerful spring uh, and the rest of the lock doesn't give much feedback at all but we shall give it a go, see if we can get in here. So, that was a click on one. Nothing on two. Got a click on three. Nothing really on four. And the really powerful spring. It's one of these locks that you feel like you're going to end up breaking a pick on. Two. I've got a click. Nothing on three. Four. Or five. One, two. Three. Four. Five, that's two's dropped again, one, two, three, little click off four, and five still had no movement on the core well that was actually a click out of four and five there and one two's dropped again I think we might have overset. There was so much tension on this spring at the back. If we do get it out, we have to have so much tension on the lock, it's hard to get anything else to. So that was two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right, next little click out of two, click out of three. And a little click out of five that time. Very mushy one mind. find something that will give me some feedback One, two, three, four, five. so I'm something must have got overset Three and four. Five. We actually got a click 
thick and a very tiny little bit of movement on the core. Two, come on two. There we go, click on two. Click on four. Five, one, two again. Two. And five, and we're open. That's hard work, that lock. Right, let's get this out of here, get a pinning tray in, and see what we've got inside. So... Let's... Right, I think I'm going to lock this up, because we've got the key. Make it easy to get this clip off. ones. That's better. Nope. There we go. Right, let's grab a shim. And the key. Where's the key? Over here. Alright, shim went in okay. And there we go, so we have all five pins. And as we can see, they will need it. Quite a bit of picking. I can't see any modifications on the core. No, that all looks standard. And we've got standard, 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 standard. So it is five pins and tweezers. The pins are all tapered on the top. Why it was easier to overset them. We have a look at that one there. We'll focus, you can see that taper on there. But they've all got those. Let's have a look, see what we've got up top. So, in one, we have serrations. And a fairly standard looking spring. Oh, number two. We have serrations, spooly sort of thing. Another standard looking spring. Three. We have a sort of a Barrelly spool, tapered spool. Four, very shallow double spool. So apart from two, everything's very shallow so far, which is why, cool dear. Why well, we won't get much feedback and we have a standard in five and the full transit spring. Let's have a 
as you can see that has got quite a lot of tension on it compared with say the standard spring and right at the back as well so let's have a close up of these so quite a nice setup but that spring at the back does make it particularly difficult so <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so that was GG Wiz by Andy H uh, thanks for making that and send it to, sending it to me Andy and thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon bye